Day school's Noah Hoopman is the big man on campus. Literally, the Eagles Jr. gets attention everywhere he goes on and off the court, and that's because he towers above everyone else. Jessica Williams that has that story. Noah Hoopman is not very good at blending in. After all, it's tough to miss a seven foot one, 17 year old. I get a lot of stares and just people looking up all the time. And then, of course, the obvious two questions is how tall are you and do you play basketball? It definitely throws some things off, especially getting used to ducking through doors, finding clothes, finding yeah, stuff that fits. When he's about to go through a small doorway, he might say his name, he turns around and bangs his head or something like that. or. Um, just, you know, he's always ducking and looking out for not hitting his head on things. They always want to know, is he really seven foot? <laughs> That's the number one question we get. And then once they see him play, you know, he's actually 9'2 with his hands up. He is <laughs> a dominant force. Um, anybody who comes to our gym and watches our games, you'll you notice Big Noah. In comparison, I'm 5'1". Lucky for me, guarding Hoopman isn't in my job description. But the same, unfortunately, can't be said for the teams trying to stop a guy who's averaging just two blocks shy of a triple-double. They're probably second-guessing themselves on the shot because they know it's probably going to get blocked back in their face. So they definitely think twice about going in there. Well, we, we stick two on them every practice. <laughs> we do a lot of five on seven <laughs> just because it's, it's hard to simulate one guy trying to guard a seven-foot-one guy. Hoopman grew up with basketball in his DNA, quite literally. His dad Sasha, a former star center for the Purple Aces. I have a baby picture of me holding a basketball, actually, but I've definitely compared myself a lot to him growing up, so getting at least to his, the stage that he played and maybe past it is definitely something I'm trying to do. Uh, he doesn't have a limit right now. Um, his, his ceiling is so high right now. Uh, he's, he's really getting some confidence, and I think that was the main thing of him coming in, getting that confidence, understanding that this is how you can be. This is how dominant you can really play day in and day out. And so he's understanding that, and now we're just really proud of him, and he, he puts in the work, I must say. You know, I, I don't want to not say that he's just tall. You know, he puts in the work, he understands how much work, you know, and he's a, he's a D1 player. He'll go Division One somewhere and, and, and really be successful because of his hard work. So the future certainly seems bright for the day school junior. Well, that is as long as he avoids those door frames. From Eagles practice, Jessica Wimsat, Home Team Friday.